Gothic. I turned 21 this month, which means legally I'm an adult pretty much everywhere. Yay! But I've been doing a lot of thinking lately. The average lifespan of a woman is around 80 years old, so that's a quarter of my life out of the window. I'm fortunate enough to have a lot of family who lived well into their 80s, but still, it's very anxiety-inducing. And I've changed a lot in 21 years. And most of my life up to this point was just me being legally a child. <laughs> and I'm not the same person I was at 17. Hell, I'm not even the same person I was at 19. <laughs> Being forced into lockdown last year caused me to undergo a depressive episode. And in the end, I had a period of self-growth and I realized what I truly want to devote my time to. When the lockdown began, I had just returned from what was essentially a gap year I took to recover from a very emotionally abusive relationship. I was starting to get used to my new college and make new friends. And then COVID happened and I was stuck at home for a long ass time. I was essentially laid off from my job, pissed off three controversial entities within a month, and was really depressed. There was actually a time last year where I felt the exact same levels of stress and anxiety that I felt while I was in that abusive relationship, and it's, it's not a good mindset to be in. And, and I've come to realize that I've only had one consistent passion since 2010. YouTube! That's right, I've been doing this shit for almost 11 years! Damn! All of my pre-2016 videos have been privated, and that's a good thing. It was a lot of One True Media slideshows and Kingdom Hearts music videos, and they don't reflect the content I make today. They're very cringe. And to this day, many of my 2016 to 2019 videos have been either privated, unlisted, or removed, because they either just weren't that good, or involved people that I no longer wish to associate myself with. But it's been over a year since I've started making content that I've genuinely been proud of for a long time afterwards. I, I consider my Ian Watkins video, even though it's definitely flawed, I could have presented it better, the music was way too loud. <laughs> I still consider that the first of my actually good videos, the videos I was proud to make, and I'm just glad to see that even though that was a video that I'm still proud of, that I've improved over the past two years. <laughs> and even though I'm still not perfect with my work, I'm happy with the path I'm taking. And thank you all for supporting my content for however long you've been watching or subscribing. It really means a lot to me that there are people out there who watch my bullshit. <laughs> the one thing I have no idea what I'm going to do though is what I'm going to do after I graduate. I'm majoring in media production, which allows me to tune my um, filmmaking and editing skills. But it's hella hard to break into the industry if you don't have connections. I'm thinking of moving to San Antonio or somewhere else after I graduate, but will I be able to find a job related to my major there? I want to travel the world, but can I afford it? I want to be in love, but I don't want to rush into things. I want to do so many things, but do I have the time? Do I have the resources? I know this sounds existential for a very young adult, but it's just what's been on my mind for a while. Some time ago, I've come to accept that we only have one life, and then we return to the warm, dark void in which we came. Is there a heaven? A hell? Reincarnation? Divination? I don't know, and frankly, I don't want to spend my life trying to figure out what comes next. 
I want to experience the world. Hopefully change it? Most of y'all don't know this, even though I've implied it before, but my maternal grandmother, who I was really close to as a child, she's dying. She's been dying for years. She's 83, but I don't know how much time she has left. And I don't want to die regretting not living my best life. She lived her best life, and I'm gonna live mine. This is for you, Grandma Jean. Thank you so much for everything. I love you so much. Sorry that there's not like an underlying message or just a long-winded monologue in this video. I just wanted to take some time to reflect and drink and just tell y'all what I've been thinking. I mean, some of it was stuff I've written in my notes, but still, it was stuff that came from my own mind goo. So, um, thank y'all very much for watching, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye-bye.